So I developed this sound portrait machine. I call it so it looks like that. I guess I call it sound und text because there's an interest of like combining okay. languages too. I tried to like visually uh, to sonically interpret the visuality of the keyboard. And so of course for for uh, typeface they use the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog because it is a pangram and includes every letter. And so I read for the capital letters. Uh, a uh, kind of extended version of that sentence, so like, THE QUICK BROWN FOX, and so on. And then for the lowercase I did, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, and then took out little segments of that. I then interpreted the visuality of the other characters, of punctuation and numbers. For example, uh, in the backslash, I did a crescendo. Uh? <laughs> and for the uh, other slash, I do a decrescendo. Oh. Okay. For the numbers, I did clicking sounds. So, and of course, here's the... This is the keyboard. And then this is the capitals. Pretty similar. And certain, you know, letters so happen to, like, have, like, less... Would you be willing to type out the quick brown fox? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that, yeah. Okay, so here is the lowercase quick brown fox. Quick fox jumps. So that's lowercase. Here's the uppercase. Quick brown fox jumps. Okay. So that's that, and then uh, I got a little like expressive with certain uh, punctuation. I don't even know what it was called. Of course, the tilde you, we know. Or, uh, you know. Oh, I also interpreted like the um, brackets and parentheses as like breathing, kind of. And so this is the parentheses is breathing, and then this is the um, greater than less than. So it gets a little <laughs> fun. Okay. So, of course, we can just like play. Or we can actually, in the program, play a, um, uh, a, a, a full text. So I found a fun uh, quality where, uh, of repetition. And so I, just like by playing around, I found out summer sounds interesting. Um, <laughs> So here's summer. And then here's winter with it. Okay, so whatever. Right? Okay. I'm going to show you the dynamics of the program. And also, one of the cool things, I'm hoping to make this a. I mean, I'm going to make it like free to download on the internet. And, uh,. There are these boxes here where anybody can put their own voice in, and the application eventually will come with, my, it's my voice, I, I'm going to ask Sam to put her voice in, and, and I want, like, cats and frogs to <laughs> really kind of throw it off, you know, so, which I do have those sounds already. So, there was, like, another fun finding of, like, a kind of, like, minimal approach, getting some enantiomers, which are, like, B and D and P and Q, and playing them, and, like, so, like, hearing how they played here. Um, and you can kind of become like, and then if you like put it out of sync, it can get pretty interesting. Where there's like, so the program also has these defaults where like it doesn't read uh, as fast as it's moving. So you'll see that it goes in and out of sync. actual piece I want to show you. And actually, one of the things I'd like to do is, would somebody give me a website? Zombo.com. Zombo.com? <laughs> okay. Because one of the best ways to show the dynamics of the program is to use HTML, which has so much, so many characters in it. Zombo.com? Yeah. It okay. plays music, though, so maybe that's not the best one. No, it's great. Okay, great. <laughs> um, I just need to take the HTML. Ah. 
Um, okay. So oh, with an O, Z O M B O. Yeah. Z. That's not it. Yeah, that's Z A M B O. Oh, Go for Z O M B O. Yeah. And can somebody else give me another one? I'm gonna mash up to HTML giant. Cool. Whoa. Welcome to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is something. <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh wow, it's short too. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna mash up Zombo with. Uh, Welcome. With HTML giant. Can we keep this playing while it's going to? I yes. think we need to. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, HTML giant? Hmm? Okay. Welcome to Zombocom. Welcome to Zombocom. We're going to get to some like. Uh, okay, here we go. Alright. So I'm going to take all of this HTML as well. <laughs> okay, we're definitely keeping this up. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to input this text as well as this and see what happens. Of course, this is more like I'm doing like a, I'm like pitching this thing to you. So we're gonna do like one performance, and I know that it, the performance I kind of more intended to for like personal use, or I guess it could become whatever. With the interest that like anybody can interact with it, you know. So that's why I've been presenting it like, mm -hmm. in such a way. Um, but yeah, I'd like to. We're gonna do a collaboration okay. between the two of us, where I'm gonna input um, one of Matthew's texts and. Uh, I, I have it actually. Okay. okay. Same time. Do you, oh, you want to read it at the same time? I don't know. What do you want? Me, what do you want me to do? Um, I want to listen to the the your the, the that thing go. Yeah. yeah. I, I, really, I, I love how it sounds. So yeah. That's, uh, okay. Um. Okay. This thing is known to like. Okay. The fun thing I forgot to like introduce it as is. So like, I kind of when developing this was thinking about like, three things that this is. Kind of like a drum machine, right? You know, you just like <laughs> has that quality. And then I was thinking about it like as a word processor as well, you know. And then the third one was it's actually like a sound poet, yeah. you know, with its own idiosyncrasies. Like for example, I might have <laughs> art, like it's not playing music, and it's not playing text that is not even there, <laughs> and I get lost in the program, you know. So it has its own idiosyncrasies, like a any sound poet. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get. Would you like to introduce the text that we're? Uh, these are, I mean, these are very old for me. They're from like '04. There's early sound poetry I wrote. They're um, univocalic. In other words, it's like A E I O U, and similar to what you. Uh, but they're all like collected from spam messages from '04, and they're words that look like words to me, but that my aunt, that like my computer dictionary say said were not words. Hmm. So even the word like onlook, all one word, is my computer dictionary said didn't exist. So. And the O one, uh, there's on look, and then a great theory word dereference is not like a real word, and it has only the the vowel e. So, so yeah, so things like that, and then um, the A. So I think you're gonna do the A and the E, right? Yeah. So yeah. And I was uh, when I was playing around to try to figure out like what might be fun to like share as like a piece that we could call like this is a sound poem, you know? Yeah. Uh, I I was liking the idea that this is a kind of like sonic ligature of A and E, you know. Mm. So, um, okay, so, I'll get this all ready for us. Um, that's all up. And I think that we'll just go, and then you, you might read it afterwards, or? Sure. Okay. Let's see what the cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, this is A. 
And if anybody is interested in, you know, getting an email when this is like on the internet, I could you know take out like put a notebook out or something. Awesome. It'll be fully like, huh. you know, it's pretty much ready. But you know, I, it would be nice to have other voices. So that's pretty much my shtick for today. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 